This will definitely be the most boring wrap up I've ever done. Hello and welcome to my channel, The Danish Readaholic. Today we're doing a wrap up and it's gonna be a short one. Let's just get on with it. I have read two books this month. The reading slump did in fact continue and I wasn't a fan. It ended up being two books. My page count, however, for this month was higher than my page count from last month where I read three books. So my page count is 700 and 67. It's fine. I feel like the books that I did read were uh, like a, a decent size, I guess, but obviously I wanted to read more books. It is what it is. I'm actually not mad about it. At least I managed to read something. The stats. <laughs> I'm gonna scooch to the side. Should have actually already done that when I talked about the books and the pages, so. So as I said, I read two books and 767 pages. Both books were new to me authors, which I'm actually really happy about, but that gives us a boring graph, so moving on. We had one three star, one four star. It's still a boring graph even though it's not in the same category, but I'm gonna breeze through it this month. As for representation, in my opinion, <laughs> uh, both of them only had racial representation, so I put them in racial and not multiple. I always have a hard time placing if it's multiple or if it's only one. I usually feel like if I'm in doubt, it was only that one. If anybody is doing this where they are making stats about the representation, please let me know down in the comments how you do it and when you feel like it is enough representation to put it down as representation. Because I sometimes struggle a little bit with that. Both authors were from the US. Both were fantasy, although one was Dark Academia and I didn't know where to place it, so it ended up being in fantasy. Both books were part of a series. I have one YA and one new adult. I'm not sure about the new adult classification, but I felt like it was more new adult than YA, so please let me know what you think when I am actually going to talk about the book so you know which one I'm talking about. As for the format, I read one physical and the other was an audiobook. Both of them were from my own TBR, and both of them are are pre-2022 releases. I, th I think that that was all. Let's get on with the books now. First up, I read Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I gave this four stars. I actually really enjoyed it. What I didn't enjoy and what ended up being kind of like a running joke between me and my boyfriend and also me and my mom was that the main character had a wooden bowl on her head for the majority of the book. I know that it's based on, I think it was either a Japanese or a Chinese legend, but it just felt a little bit ridiculous to me. And that was just this minor, minor thing that made it not be a five star because I really did enjoy the story itself. I had a feeling I knew who the villain was, but I actually didn't expect that the no, Silke, you can't say that, that's spoilery. So there were definitely some things that I expected to happen in this. But then there was also a lot of things happening that I hadn't expected. So I felt like it was actually a really good book and I'm really excited for the sequel. I also really like the character Kiki, which is the paper bird that she makes. I really liked it. It was a great retelling of the Wild Swans and a bunch of other legends as I've come to learn. For those of you who don't know, this follows Shiori, who is a princess of Kiata. And one day her evil stepmother curses her brothers to become cranes. She then also curses her, and that is where the bowl comes in, to not be able to speak while she has the bowl on her head. To my understanding, it covers her down to here, but she can still see. She cannot utter a single sound whilst this bowl is cursed to be on her head. If she does so, her brothers will die. We then follow her as she is trying to save her brothers and save her family, her country, everything. I really like it. So I gave this four stars and I would definitely recommend. Then I read A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this. I didn't like it, to be honest. I did give it three stars because there were some elements to it that I felt interesting, but I didn't like the main character. I thought she was annoying. I did like some of the side characters. I also did not like Orion. I was confused because a lot, like, throughout the book, I felt like it was just 
explaining what the school was and just going about the normal routine. So I was like, I understand if this book is just supposed to be describing the environment, but if there's supposed to be a plot, then I don't see it. Because all of a sudden there was this thing that happened towards the end and then they just did that like this and then it was over and then we went back to just describing an everyday life at the school. It wasn't for me. There were definitely elements that I did like and elements that I did not like and I was also a little bit bored from time to time. I'm glad I listened to the audiobook because otherwise I'm pretty sure I would have DNF'd. The ending, the very 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 last line had me wanting to pick up the sequel. But I have decided that I'm not going to be picking up the sequel. I might if I feel like it eventually or if I need a book that the sequel would fit for a readathon something then I might pick it up as an audiobook. I will definitely not be picking up a copy and I'm not sure I will be keeping this one either. I appreciate the book for what it is. It was just not for me and I have accepted that. I feel like it's very unique. I haven't seen a book like this and the writing style was definitely new to me, which I liked to some extent. I would give a summary, but I don't know what to say to be completely honest. We follow Galadriel, I think that's her name, in this school that is basically really, really dangerous and either you die or you graduate, there is no in between. Then we just follow Galadriel, that is basically it, we follow her and what they do in this school. I didn't really have anything else to say about that book to be completely honest. Thank you so much for watching my very, very short wrap up. I apologize for the length. Please leave a comment telling me which books you read in the month of March. If you just want to let me know that you're here but don't know what to comment, you can always leave a green heart. If you like this video, please hit the like icon and if you want to see more of my bookish content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It will mean the world to me. And until I see you next time, bye!